In this video, we will show you how to perform an AirSpring service. To maintain the high level of performance in your product, it is important to follow the service intervals. At olins.com, you can access manuals and find the specification for your product. Start by loosening the AirSpring top cap. Be careful not to slip and damage the cap if a lot of torque is required. Loosen the bolts on the top clamp. Clamp your bike in a workshop stand with the fork in a horizontal position. By doing this you will avoid fluid spilling out of the fork accidentally. Remove the wheel, brake caliper and brake hose. Remove the protective caps. Remove the rebound adjuster with a hex key whilst holding onto the adjuster with a spanner. Remove the air spring and damper cartridge nuts. Gently tap the air spring with a soft hammer. Carefully slide the lowers off the fork and drain them into a tray. Use a set of tweezers to remove the foam rings. Clean the lower legs. Remove the scraper seals by carefully levering them out. Avoid using tools with sharp edges when doing so as these can easily damage the paint. Thoroughly clean the scraper seal seats. Take out the bump rubbers from each lower leg. Make sure not to scratch the inner surfaces of the fork. Install new bump rubbers. Install new scraper seals with the wiper seal tool and a soft hammer. Re-soak the foam rings in the recommended fork lubrication fluid. Reinstall the foam rings. Make sure they're not twisted. Apply the recommended functional grease on the scraper seals. Remove the air spring and release the air from the main and ramp up chambers. Make sure both chambers are completely depressurized to avoid damage to the spring or yourself. Clean the air spring with a lint free cloth. Remove the o ring from the top and base caps. Use a spanner to loosen the seal head and pull the air cartridge apart. Carefully remove the o-rings from the main cylinder tube and install new ones. And then remove the o-ring and backup rings from the piston and thoroughly clean the piston. Install a new o-ring and backup rings onto the piston. Be sure they're in their original positions. Apply functional grease to the inside of the main cylinder tube together with the specified volume of air spring lubrication oil. Put a thin layer of functional grease onto the piston and slide it into the main cylinder tube. Finally, add the specified volume of air spring lubrication into the seal head. Now carefully hand tighten the main cylinder tube into the seal head. Use soft jaws to hold the main cylinder tube and tighten the seal head to the correct torque. When adjusting the pressure of the air spring, it is important to equalise the pressure of the positive and negative chambers. Insert the air spring cartridge into the stanchion tube and tighten the top cap by hand. Carefully slide the lowers back onto the stanchion tubes. Inject the specified amount of fork lubrication fluid into each lower leg. Do not overfill as it may have a negative impact on the fork's performance. Assemble the nuts and tighten them to the correct torque. Reinstall the rebound adjuster and turn it back to your original setting. Replace the protective caps. Reinstall the brake caliper and wheel. Remove your bike from the workshop stand and tighten the top cap to the correct torque. Retighten the top clamp bolts to the correct torque. Now you're done in the workshop, it's time to go riding. 